I'm Janae Hill, and welcome to the inspirational art of Thomas Kincaid on Uplift TV. As a viewer-supported channel, Uplift TV features an equal balance of Christian movies and ministries, as Christ taught with parables and sermons. Art has also been used to bring Bible stories to life, and over the next half hour, we're going to share some heartfelt stories from one of America's greatest inspirational artists, the painter of light, Thomas Kincaid. This program will give you a unique opportunity to partner with Uplift TV to bring more Christian movies, documentaries, and TV series not available on most channels. I'm joined today by Dr. Patrick Kincaid, the brother of the late Thomas Kincaid. And over the next half hour, Pat and I are going to be talking about Thomas's amazing paintings, in particular two paintings that through your contributions to Uplift TV, they can actually become a part of your collection. Pat, thank you so much for joining us. Janae, I'm so excited to be here on Uplift TV. I really am. I love the idea that not only we're going to have the traditional teach and preach format, but we're also going to be telling stories through face-based film and programming. It's just absolutely exciting for me. Yes, and that's really what your brother Thomas Kincaid did through his paintings. He absolutely did. He and absolutely he was did. known as being the painter of light. He was. And that uh, moniker came about for a couple reasons. My brother painted in what's called a luminous style. And what that means is that when you lower the lights on a given piece, on a painting that you hung in your home, the internal lights of the canvas will begin to glow. There was a whole school of lum luminism back in the 1800s, but it died out because it was such a painstaking process to create work in that manner. But Tom revitalized that work, and through limited edition canvas, he's brought it to his collector base. But probably more importantly than that, Tom was known as a painter of light because he believed that light was a metaphor. It was a metaphor for the light of God. When you look at one of my brother's paintings, you immediately see the spiritual nature of it. It's absolutely a wonderful experience to get a painting home, lower the light, see that glow, and feel God's love wash over you. And was that what he was really looking to communicate through his paintings? Was that metaphor? And Tom wanted to communicate a lot of things. When he painted, he called his art comfort art. Now, a lot of people, when they buy art, they want to hang something in the home that may challenge, may create some sort of confusion or angst. But Tom disagreed with that. He believed when you buy a house, you want to change it into a home. And part of doing that was hanging comfort art on the wall. Art is a, an interesting uh, uh, format in terms of uh, artistic effort. Paintings impact you every day. You know, you get a book and you read it and you enjoy that book, but eventually you put the book back on the shelf. You no longer deal with it on a day-to-day -day basis. When you watch a film, the same thing. You enjoy the film while it's on the TV, but once it's over, it's over. When you hang a painting on the wall, you're making a commitment to it. Every day, every day, you walk by that painting. Even if just for a moment you catch that painting out of the side of your eye, just a glimpse, it'll still have an impact on you. So for Tom, he wanted to create life-affirming uh, messages. Hope, patriotism, faith, family, love, romance, adventure, all those wonderful pillars of life that make it worth living. And of course, still, the baseline of it all was that idea of God is there for you. Well, and certainly one of the things that makes life worth living is the cross and what Jesus did on the cross. And this painting is actually entitled The Cross. Absolutely. I, I love this painting. There's a wonderful story behind it. Franklin Graham came to Tom and wanted to do something special for Billy Graham. And for months they worked together plotting and scheming on what to do. And they came up with creating this wonderful piece in tribute to Billy. Mm -hmm. And this piece actually in a very, very large size exists in the Graham Library. You walk down this darkened tunnel and suddenly the light Light splash on this painting and it just absolutely springs out at you in this billboard size. Well you can have that painting, the painting given to Billy Graham in, in support of his ministries in your home in this particular version. Well it's a stunning painting. Do you know what Thomas was trying to communicate particularly through the cross? When you look at this particular piece, again Tom painted in, in, in a lot of metaphor and if you See this rock right here. What that suggests is that life is bedrock. And if you plant the cross in that bedrock, if you have a firm belief in God, if you hold on to the principles of the Bible, that you will be granted what? The cross faces eternity. It's an absolutely beautiful depiction of what I believe to be the Bible in a nutshell, John 3.16. 
If you accept Christ as your Savior, you're going to be granted the grace of the Father and be granted eternity. It's a beautiful piece. I love it for a lot of reasons. Beyond the very strong spiritual message mm -hmm. that it uh, uh, portrays, it's just absolutely a well-composed piece of art. You've got an incredible depth of field that draws your eye to the background. You have those wonderful majestic clouds that, again, when you lower the lights on this particular piece, will absolutely snap to life. You know, we call it the Kincaid ooh-ah. When you get this piece home and you hang it on the wall and you have a spot light on it and you lower it, you bring friends in to look at it, as you lower it, they're all going to go, ooh, ah. And then immediately they're going to say, do it again, because it's just so pretty, it's just so profound in terms of that impact. So you have that wonderful composition, a very fine piece of art, in addition to a very profound message in this particular piece. Do you have any idea how long it took your brother to do a painting such as this one? You know, that's a, that's a great question, and, and it's difficult to answer because it depends on a variety of things. It depends on the size of the piece. It depends on what the nature of the composition is. When Tom painted a cityscape, for example, you have to do all the draftsmanship in order to get the, the buildings proportional to the cars, to the people, and so on and so forth, and that can add hundreds of hours in terms of labor. For a piece like this, I would say probably about two to 300 hours are put into this individual project. It was much larger probably because of the desire to do it for Billy and to do it absolutely perfect. But it's a very, very painstaking process. And a lot of people assume that Tom paint a single painting at a single time. He doesn't. He would roll a painting on and off his easel, painting layers and layers and layers of oil, allowing a drying time between each so that can extend the time too. What was Billy Graham's reaction when he saw the painting, do you know? He was absolutely thrilled. Tom had a very wonderful relationship with uh, the Graham Foundation, Franklin and Billy, and it's just a, absolutely a, 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 a spellbinding experience. And like I said, if you have opportunity, get to the, the, the Graham Library and experience it for yourself. That smile, that broad impact that it provides the viewer absolutely floored Billy and would floor you if you got in life totally phenomenal and I'm not sure how much you guys can see on screen but the 3D dimension or it, it's it looks like there's so many as you mentioned deep layers to this particular painting. Absolutely, the absolutely. Cross. And that's part of the, the, the luminous effect. It's about dimensionality and it's about luminosity. So you have the lights come on and then it blows into three dimensions. Almost like hanging a window on the wall. You feel like you can reach into it. And I completely see that. Let me ask you this. Over here, it kind of looks like a stream or some mm -hmm. sort of, do you have any idea the thought T behind Tom that? Tom loved to paint a uh, river. Again, he painted in metaphor, and the river to Tom was the river of life. So what you're mm -hmm. seeing is a cascade of life going in front of the idea of faith and being granted eternity. So again, it's all messaging in relation to Tom's use of metaphor. How incredible to be able to have something that represents kind of that cascade of life into the cross, which is so important to so many of us as people of faith. And if you want to know how you can donate to Uplift TV and receive the cross painting in appreciation for your support, there are many ways to do that today. When we come back from break, we're going to have an opportunity to look at another painting. We're also going to hear some more stories from you, Pat. I hope so. Yes, on <laughs> Thomas Kincaid's work. And you're also going to see a variety of ways that you can own these paintings in different formats. And we will be right back. For your support of Uplift TV Foundation, we want to offer you a choice of one of the two Thomas Kincaid authorized reproduction paintings featured as a gift to you for your donation. Your generous support will allow Uplift TV to create and acquire more inspirational movies and programs that will change hearts and impact lives. The Good Shepherd's Cottage is an allegory in paint of the Lord returning to call His faithful. The air is luminous with sunset as His voice calls His sheep in the meadow. The cross was painted for the Billy Graham Library and features the cross of Christ high on a hill with the river of life seemingly descending from heaven. Each painting comes in four different formats and donation amounts. The studio print is 8 by 10 inches printed on heavyweight archival paper that will easily accommodate a store-bought frame. You will receive this quality studio print for your donation of $25. The gallery wrap print is crafted with premium canvas and hand wrapped around a hardwood stretcher bar. It is available for your donation of $125. The textured print features a hand applied coating designed to bring out appearance of brush strokes. 
A very attractive frame comes with this painting. You will receive this authorized reproduction for your donation of $200. The limited edition reproduction comes with a certificate of authenticity. This beautiful version features vibrant colors, rich textures, and is highlighted by hand using fine acrylic paints by skilled artisans. This elegant framed limited edition reproduction is your gift for a donation of $1,000. For your convenience, you can donate online at upliftpaintings.com. This secure website is the easiest way to view the two painting choices and review the four painting formats. You can also call our toll-free number and make your donation by calling 844-7-UPLIFT. That's 844-787-5438. Donate today at upliftpaintings.com or call 844-7-UPLIFT. Welcome back. Here at Uplift TV, our goal is to provide you with a unique family-friendly environment unlike any other network. To that end, the Uplift TV Foundation was formed to help foster the work of the gospel through the creation of Christian movies, documentaries, and TV series. Uplift TV has joined with the Thomas Kincaid Company to offer our viewers a unique opportunity to help support Uplift TV in providing Christian programming that will impact people's lives. I'm joined once again with Pat Kincaid and another gorgeous Thomas Kincaid painting. Tell us about this painting. I believe it's called The Good Shepherd's Cottage. It is, it is. Tom used to love to paint cottages. Every year he would travel to England and he would go to the Cotswolds region. And in that area of England, all these magical little cottages exist and he became fascinated with them. People think these might be fanciful images. They're not, they actually exist. If you have opportunity to go to England, you can actually go and visit Thomas Kincaid cottages in that particular area. But what these cottages reflected to him more than anything was a coziness, a romance, a sense of family and hearth absolutely astounded him in terms of his personal experience. Growing up we didn't have a, a, a mother in the home or a, a father in the home, they had to work outside of it, so we used to come home to darkened windows in mm. terms of Tom's experience of home. Well these little cottages always had the light on, and so to him it reflected that sense of family and welcoming. And there's also the gardens, everybody loves the English garden, well Tom was a gardener himself. His studio was called Ivy Gate, and it existed in the Carmel Valley, and it had the, the marine layers coming in, the mists of the, uh, the ocean blowing across the flower beds that he used to lay in terms of uh, his gardens. And he used to absolutely enjoy the idea of all these wonderful flowers blooming. Now, when you look at these particular pieces, a lot of these flowers wouldn't necessarily bloom together. But Tom, as an artist, always felt that you shouldn't just paint what is there, but you should paint what should be there. Mm -hmm. And these gardens reflected that, the abundance of God's world exploding all at once in a single time frame for everybody to enjoy. Is there a specific story about the Good Shepherd's Cottage and this painting? Absolutely, absolutely. This cottage, beyond simply being an absolutely wonderful little romantic retreat, is the Good Shepherd's Cottage. If you look at the figure in the front, that's Christ coming out. His arms are open to welcome the flock that's coming home to him. Now the flock, of course, reflects humanity. All of us are going to be welcomed into Christ's arms if we follow the path into the Good Shepherd's Cottage. So for Tom, not only was this a piece that was about the cottage and family and romance and hearth and home, but it's that spiritual meaning that comes through again. The idea that if we follow the road to Christ that we will be granted God's heaven. And this piece, like all of Tom's work, is a luminous piece which means when you lower the lights of the room on the given canvas, the lights inside the painting absolutely explode. It's almost like magic. It looks like you would have a well-lit cottage any time of the day. Absolutely, absolutely. And that's important because those lights to Tom meant that someone was there waiting for you. Now, in terms of his general cottage uh, imagery, that person waiting may be your significant other, may be your mother, your father, your family, somebody home to welcome you in. But in this particular cottage, that light is the light of God. And with Christ out front, opening his arms, welcoming you in, what better piece to hang in your home in terms of messaging? And today, you can actually hang this painting in your home for a contribution to Uplift TV. And there's actually several different formats that contributors can choose from, is absolutely, that right? Absolutely, absolutely. I'm very, very excited about this because it makes it available to everyone. 
This piece is a limited edition piece. It's the most rarefied type of collectability. It has several specialized features on it that make it very, very collectible. It has an authorized signature of Tom down in the corner, so you have a little bit of Tom on this. It is hand highlighted, meaning that it looks like an original. There's actually oil paint on this canvas. Wow. And each of these are slightly different than the other, so they're all originals. It's framed very, very beautifully, and of course you get the frame with the presentation. But around back, very, very importantly, there's a certificate of authenticity that suggests that it's limited edition, meaning that by law we can't create anymore. Once these go away, once the wonderful collectors take them into their homes, we can never make another in order to uh, reestablish that piece, except through open edition product. And we have different types of open edition product. This is called a textured print. This isn't on canvas, but it has very, very nice texturing that suggests originality. And of course, it has magnificent framing. Very, very contemporary in terms of its look. Down here, we have what's called a canvas wrap. I like this particular presentation. It can be a, a central wall piece or can be a nice accent piece. But what's neat about it is you don't need to get a frame for it. It's got an internal frame. So the reality is, is once you get this home, you can hang it directly on the wall or put it on your shelf just as it is. And then finally, we have a little gift print. I love these little gift prints because it opens up these images to everybody who might want one. These are a standard size, so you can frame them Get any little frame, put it around it, put it on your table, put it on the shelf, put it on the mantel. It's an absolutely wonderful depiction of the Good Shepherd's Cottage, just like the limited edition. Now, one of the things that I've noticed about Thomas Kincaid's paintings, and he certainly is known as the painter of light, but all of his paintings just have this gorgeous color. And it sounds like you all didn't grow up with that color in your childhood. We had a, a wonderful uh, upbringing, but we were very, very poor. We didn't have a whole lot of opportunities, a whole lot of money to be spent on uh, the, the wonderments that other children might have. So Tom and I spent a lot of time in our own minds, in our own imaginations. And I think in a certain way, God was tempering Tom for these sorts of creations. Mm. You know, very early on, Tom believed that he was an artist. He wasn't like other children. Other children would paint, or they would color, or they would sketch, but that's all they would be doing. Tom called himself an artist. He had this belief that there was this great purpose in his life from very, very early on. And to the day that he died, he believed that. He often described himself in front of an easel as feeling as if there was a greater power flowing through him, moving his hand on the canvas. And when you see these images, when you see Tom's paintings and the impact they have on the individual inside their homes, I can't but believe that God had a purpose for all of this wonderful art. How early did Thomas start painting? My very, very first remembrances were of Tom as an artist. He literally, he would, as opposed to going out and play kickball or do some of the things that other kids would do, he'd want to paint. Now, ultimately, I would tell Tom, lighten up, you're five years old, come and paint, you know, you can paint as much as you want, but come and play kickball too, and he did. But the bottom line is that he always had that image, always had that image. My father was a painter, and so we had some uh, time growing up where we were spending time with other artists. My mother was a great enthusiast, and she used to take us to museums around California. So we were exposed to art early on. But ultimately, I had that exposure too, and I wasn't driven like Tom was. Tom had a purpose in his life, and I think the ultimate manifestation of that purpose was him as the painter of light. Someone who, despite his own frailties, despite his own humanity, could project God's light through the canvas into the home. And what's very interesting is that Thomas Kincaid used paintings to tell stories. And at Uplift TV, we use movies, documentaries, and TV series to tell stories. And today, your contributions can help us continue to tell those stories. And as a thank you, you can get one of these two beautiful paintings that we've seen today. Take a look at how you can be a part of Uplift TV. For your support of Uplift TV Foundation, we want to offer you a choice of one of the two Thomas Kincaid authorized reproduction paintings featured as a gift to you for your donation. Your generous support will allow Uplift TV to create and acquire more inspirational movies and programs that will change hearts and impact lives. The Good Shepherd's Cottage is an allegory in paint of the Lord returning to call His faithful. The air is luminous with sunset as His voice calls His sheep in the meadow. The cross was painted for the Billy Graham Library and features the cross of Christ high on a hill with the river of life seemingly descending from heaven. 
Each painting comes in four different formats and donation amounts. The studio print is 8 by 10 inches, printed on heavyweight archival paper that will easily accommodate a store-bought frame. You will receive this quality studio print for your donation of $25. The gallery wrap print is crafted with premium canvas and hand wrapped around a hardwood stretcher bar. It is available for your donation of $125. The textured print features a hand applied coating designed to bring out appearance of brush strokes. A very attractive frame comes with this painting. You will receive this authorized reproduction for your donation of $200. The limited edition reproduction comes with a certificate of authenticity. This beautiful version features vibrant colors, rich textures, and is highlighted by hand using fine acrylic paints by skilled artisans. This elegant framed limited edition reproduction is your gift for a donation of $1,000. For your convenience, you can donate online at upliftpaintings.com. This secure website is the easiest way to view the two painting choices and review the four painting formats. You can also call our toll-free number and make your donation by calling 844-7-UPLIFT. That's 844-787-5438. Donate today at upliftpaintings.com or call 844-7-UPLIFT. As we mentioned before break, just as Jesus taught with parables and stories, Uplift TV features Christian movies and ministries that are in essence modern day parables. And one of the things about Uplift TV is it is impacting lives all over the world, similar to what Thomas Kincaid's paintings do. Pat, will you share with us the impact that your brother's paintings have had? Oh, absolutely. It, it's absolutely miraculous. It, it truly is. We receive thousands and thousands and thousands, even today, of people who have been impacted by my brother's imagery hung in the home. One of my favorite stories is of this dear lady who described this tradition that emerged. Every year, the family would get together and buy one painting, and they would choose it together. They hang it on the wall together. And she said that that painting brought their family so much closer together. The, the, the neat part of that story is that much later, we found out that woman was blind. She never saw one of Tom's pieces, but yet that work was speaking to her. Again, we get back to this idea of light. Light, light, that's what my brother kept talking about in relation to his work. Not just the light of the luminous effect, but the light of God has the power to reach even the blind in relation to visual art. My brother's work impacted individual homes, countries, and he had a vision for it impacting the world. And through wonderful relationships like this with Uplift TV, I'm sure that we're going to reach that goal. And so your brother's work was bringing families together just like Uplift TV does. And for your help, for your contribution to Uplift TV today, you can either get the cross or the Good Shepherd's Cottage painting in a variety of formats, one of which is a limited edition format. And as you mentioned earlier, mm -hmm. Pat, there are very few of those. Yeah. Can you tell us more about that again? Absolutely, it's very, very important that folks understand this point. Limited editions suggest rarity. It is something that not everybody can own. There is a certificate of authenticity on the back of this piece. If you read it, it suggests exactly how many of these images can be created for the collector base. And once those images are gone, it'll never come back. So if this piece is speaking to you, if it means something to you, if it reaches your heart, now is the time that you should bring it into your collection because the time is passing. I can guarantee that all of these pieces will eventually be spoken for and if you don't do it now, you may never get the opportunity. And what a great opportunity to not only purchase a limited edition piece of art, Thomas Kincaid, the painter of light, but to also help continue great programming like what you're seeing on Uplift TV. And I love that Thomas Kincaid's paintings are about bringing light, and that is what Uplift TV does, is it brings mm. light into your home through its television programs, its movies, its documentaries, more than any other network. Absolutely. If you would like more information on these paintings, or even on Uplift TV's programming, you can go to uplifttv.com, and you can also call the number on your screen. Mm. For your support of Uplift TV Foundation, 
we want to offer you a choice of one of the two Thomas Kincaid authorized reproduction paintings featured as a gift to you for your donation. Your generous support will allow Uplift TV to create and acquire more inspirational movies and programs that will change hearts and impact lives. The Good Shepherd's Cottage is an allegory in paint of the Lord returning to call His faithful. The air is luminous with sunset as His voice calls His sheep in the meadow. The cross was painted for the Billy Graham Library and features the cross of Christ high on a hill with the river of life seemingly descending from heaven. Each painting comes in four different formats and donation amounts. The studio print is 8 by 10 inches, printed on heavyweight archival paper that will easily accommodate a store-bought frame. You will receive this quality studio print for your donation of $25. The gallery wrap print is crafted with premium canvas and hand-wrapped around a hardwood stretcher bar. It is available for your donation of $125. The textured print features a hand-applied coating designed to bring out appearance of brush strokes. A very attractive frame comes with this painting. You will receive this authorized reproduction for your donation of $200. The limited edition reproduction comes with a certificate of authenticity. This beautiful version features vibrant colors, rich textures, and is highlighted by hand using fine acrylic paints by skilled artisans. This elegant framed limited edition reproduction is your gift for a donation of $1,000. For your convenience, you can donate online at upliftpaintings.com. This secure website is the easiest way to view the two painting choices and review the four painting formats. You can also call our toll-free number and make your donation by calling 844-7-UPLIFT. That's 844-787-5438. Donate today at upliftpaintings.com or call 844-7-UPLIFT. Pat, I want to thank you so much for sharing these paintings and really giving us a behind-the-scenes look at your brother's life and his legacy and oh, joining us today. It was an absolute pleasure, and I want to thank everybody involved in this because truly it's all about sharing the light. Absolutely. And Thank you for joining us today, and we look forward to seeing you next time as we continue to share the light on Uplift TV.